Hello and welcome to Financial Intelligence. In this video, I want to talk about Steve Ballmer's incredible journey. Steve Ballmer was CEO of Microsoft Corporation from 2000 to 2014. He joined Microsoft in 1980 as employee number 30 after dropping out of Stanford's MBA program. The fascinating part of Steve Ballmer's journey is that he is worth $85 billion and is 11th richest person in the world. Many people, including myself, are surprised when they realize how wealthy Steve Ballmer is. That is why I decided to do a bit more research on his journey. At the time of recording this video, Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, is worth about $130 billion and is the fourth richest person in the world. Steve Ballmer has done extremely well considering the fact that he was employee number 30 at Microsoft. In fact, on the list of top billionaires, Steve Ballmer is the only one who has not started a company. As you might know, in most tech startup companies, early stage employees generally receive between only 1 to 5% as much equity as the founder. Obviously, founders usually own much larger equity stakes, averaging about 20 to 50% of the company. The question that baffled me when I started doing the research for this video was this. How did Steve Ballmer, who was hired as employee number 30 at Microsoft, become almost as rich as Bill Gates and certainly much richer than others who were hired at Microsoft before him? In the first part of this video, I'm going to cover Steve Ballmer's incredible journey to join Microsoft and in the second part, I'm going to cover his later years at Microsoft and share with you how he was able to become so wealthy. In the last part of this video, I'm going to share with you some lessons that we can learn from Steve Ballmer's amazing journey. If you like the type of content that I provide, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Part 1. Steve Ballmer's Journey to Microsoft Bill Gates co-founded Microsoft Corporation with childhood friend Paul Allen in 1975. In the early days of Microsoft, Bill Gates was in charge of sales and Paul Allen was in charge of software development. Since neither Bill nor Paul had a lot of experience as managers, they came to the realization that the company needed someone to be in charge of running the day-to-day -day operation of the business. Bill Gates chose Steve Ballmer, a Harvard classmate who had worked in marketing at Procter & Gamble and was now studying at Stanford's business school. Bill Gates regarded Steve Ballmer as a very capable and smart person and tried to sell Paul Allen on the idea of hiring him. In April of 1980, Paul Allen agreed that they should offer Steve Ballmer up to 5% of the company because Bill Gates felt certain that Steve wouldn't leave Stanford unless he got enough equity in Microsoft. Bill Gates ended up offering Steve Ballmer 8.75% of the company, considerably more than what Paul Allen had agreed to. Bill Gates was so determined to hire Steve Ballmer that he decided to make up the extra points from his own shares. Part 2. Steve Ballmer's Later Years at Microsoft On March 13, 1986, Microsoft went public in one of the most exciting IPOs of the time and ended the day with a total market cap of $780 million. Bill Gates' 45% stake at Microsoft was worth $350 million. Paul Allen's 25% stake was worth $195 million. And Steve Ballmer's 8% stake was worth $51.5 million. However, what happened next is the most interesting part of this story. 
Unlike Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who started to diversify their portfolio by selling Microsoft shares and investing in other ventures, Steve Ballmer held on to his Microsoft shares for the longest time after the IPO. Interestingly, Bill Gates actually does not own that much Microsoft shares anymore. Today, Bill Gates owns less than 1.3% of the company he founded. Similarly, Paul Allen used his fortune to invest in companies like DreamWorks and an impressive portfolio of real estate. Both Bill Gates and Paul Allen would have been much better off if they had followed Steve Ballmer's footsteps. Microsoft's market cap is about $2.2 trillion at the time of recording this video. If Bill Gates had not sold any of his Microsoft shares, he would have been a trillionaire now. Paul Allen's shares would have been worth $550 billion if he had not sold his shares. In 2003, Ballmer sold nearly half of his Microsoft shares, thereby reducing his ownership to 4%. Steve Ballmer still owns 4% of Microsoft to this day. In fact, Steve Ballmer owns more Microsoft shares than anyone except big index funds such as Vanguard, BlackRock, and State Street. In comparison, Satya Nadella, current CEO of Microsoft, only owns 0.02% of total outstanding shares of Microsoft. Part 3. Lessons learned from Steve Ballmer's journey. I think there are three main takeaways from Steve Ballmer's journey. The first lesson is that when it comes to investing, it is a great idea to stick with the business that you believe in. Steve Ballmer was a big believer in Microsoft and acted on his conviction. His long-term view paid off in the long run. In the meantime, Bill Gates and Paul Allen's other business ventures that they started by selling Microsoft shares have not even come close to Microsoft performance in terms of their return on investment. The second lesson for me was to appreciate the power of networking. Steve Ballmer made a great impression on Bill Gates when they were students at Harvard. That one connection changed Steve Ballmer's life forever. The last lesson for me is the significance of negotiation skills. Steve Ballmer believed in himself and was able to negotiate for 8.75% of Microsoft shares instead of the original 5% that Bill Gates was planning to offer him. This shows that if you have the skills that employers are impressed by, you can go a long way in your offer negotiations. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any recommendation or suggestion, add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and take care.